Welcome back to CGC Sawmill, or to CGC Sawmill. There we go, Sawmill. Um, today we have a good one. We've got uh, another top that fell out of a pine tree, out of a white pine, that we'll take today. And we have a bunch of cleanup work in here. We have a bunch of dead, dying trees. It's mainly ash. Looks like we've got some red maple in there as well. Um, so we're going to do a little cleanup and we're going to take back to the mill couple of pine logs we brought the uh, log hauler with us today so we'll bring those back and I have a project coming up that I want to use some pine for so this is perfect so let's uh, let's get to the mill or sawn get out the chainsaw and let's do some sawn so we have a white pine here that the whole top has come out of it and you can see it broke off probably I don't know 40 feet up Something like that, 35, 40 feet up, it broke off and fell down here. So we should be able to make some 4x4s out of this lower section. We might be able to get two out of this section that's on the ground. And then uh, this, the rest of it, we got some cleanup to do in here too. It is all tangled up mess. This junk tree here needs to go down. Tops broke out of it, it's a red maple small red maple but here is the pine tree that we're going to take today and that is approximately eh, it's about 15 inches in diameter so we will make let's show you yeah it's close to that 15 14 and a half inches in diameter and you can see it is really thick in here and a lot of dead ash in here so we may clean up and create a bunch of firewood at the same time I think we're going to spend the day in here cutting See why this tree blew over it uh, had a bad spot in it. As you can see that it, uh, it had a scar up there and eventually it just broke. Probably was really weak up there and you got a little wind and it broke off. So out of that top section we're gonna get uh, three eight foot logs out of it. That last one's a little small. It's uh, I think it's only four and a half but we might be able to make something it's five and a half on this end, four and a half on that end. We should be able to make something out of it though.
perfect follow deck me right on the log I wanted to hit on which is uh, an easy one right because it's only 40 foot tall and there's no top to it to get it to sway one way or the other pretty much a straight log nice easy drop right onto a couple of logs I set one out there as well so let's see uh, if I put a little bit too deep of a face cut into it but that's all right uh, this tree was yeah, it's around 16 inches in diameter right there. Um, but you can see that it's up in here, it's more like 14 and a half. Alright, so let's trim this up and um, we'll cut it into lengths. I think I want, uh, I need a 12s and I need 10s for the project I'm doing. So we will uh, get a 12 off the bottom. And maybe a couple tens off the top. We'll see if I have enough room.
Okay, we ended up with uh, one 12 footer and two 10 footers. And while the 12 footer is 12 foot six, the 10 footers are 10 foot six, right? So, and then we cut a little bit off the end. It was only a little over 35 feet tall. I guess a 40 feet was a little over. I knew it was somewhere between 30 and 40. So we got three nice logs out of it. And then we have these other three that were on the top that uh, they'll make some nice four by fours out of those. So let's start hauling them back to the mill.
All right, folks, I think that's going to end this episode. We brought back uh, six pieces of white pine, uh, three smaller ones that were from the top. So we got one, two, and three over there, and then we got three of the larger ones, which it's just, it's I'm probably going to get six by one by sixes out of all of those twelve footers and ten footers. So definitely. Uh, they did not give me an easy time adding those little ones in there with the larger ones this time. Usually it works fine. Did it seemed to get hung up on things? So one of those days where you just don't uh, things aren't always going just right. So you got a challenge, and that's good once in a while to get a challenge and be able to adverse through it. So um, yeah, we got some nice. This is um, yesterday. I was milling up another beam, and that's ash. That's a four and a half by eight beam that's 16 foot eight inches. It is pretty much as much as this uh, this will take. I think I can maybe squeeze out maybe another two inches on it. But anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. Like and subscribe, and uh, give me a thumbs up. And have a good day. Bye.